Hello, I want to introduce to you to my first League Art jersey. Um, but first, a little bit of a backstory on that. Um, it is, of course, my first and only, I should say, the Paris Saint Germain 1998 1999 away jersey. First obvious question is why Paris Saint Germain? Well, I actually, in my late teens, early 20s, Paris Saint-Germain was probably my number three, number four team, somewhere there. And why is that? Many people will ask. Well, few factors. In school I was tortured with French and I actually didn't like it until we went the whole class for 10 days to Paris. I totally fell in love with Paris and it's still among my uh, three most liked cities. Uh, haven't been there uh, I want to say since 2003 but yeah uh, I always liked Paris the atmosphere and every, everything around so of course I like also the football team uh, Paris Saint-Germain but there's more to that um, I did not like Marseille at the time they beat my beloved Milan in 93 in the Champions League final uh, before that I didn't yeah that was also they had this uh, game that was abandoned where uh, Milan left the field so the great Milan team that was in 91 the great Milan team that uh, has won two in a row did not win three in a row because of that so uh, there was also that component so I never liked Marseille and then yeah uh, what's the big rival of Marseille it's Paris Saint-Germain at least of uh, started around there they became champions in 94 and i know that the um, the guy who was living in the family where we were staying the oldest son he was a big paris saint germain fan and he, his wall was all covered paris saint germain paris saint, 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 saint germain and i really said i already at that moment had some sympathy because they just became champions um but that actually solidified it a little bit but you know back then I didn't uh, have the means to really go all out and get a lot of gear but after this Paris visit Paris Saint-Germain had a really great Champions League season um, one for the ages one would say where they beat Bayern Munich and if you know me this is the team I really love to hate um, and yeah it became more solidified that Georges Vea and I still maintain Milan had did not have a great season back then. Uh, that they made it to the final was kind of a little bit of a travesty all, almost and I know I had Champions League final tickets uh, for that year at the time where I didn't know the pairing yet and it was Ajax against Bayern and everyone knew Ajax is gonna go to the final and so they did quite easily and then it was Milan against Paris Saint-Germain and I remember the Milan fan in me was terrified i liked all three paris saint germain ajax and milan but you know um at the time my classmates were kind of always if you know yeah this Berlus Kony guy he is uh he's the owner and he's such a uh, horrible fascist and so on and yes he is i just always said as long as he spends all the money for milan i don't care but i really was afraid of seeing milan in the final because then suddenly I would have an allegiance that I didn't want to have, I didn't want to get beat up for some reason, I don't know why. And I also felt that it was more deserved for Paris Saint-Germain, they really had a great campaign, they eliminated Barcelona, I remember those games uh, that they had was great, they uh, beat Bayern and Georges Weah was just a sensation. And then they lost twice to Milan and it was kind of wow Milan is really strong maybe they could win this this year of course they lost in the final that's a story for another time then how did I get this jersey well into rail backpacking through Europe and the last stop was Paris uh, revisiting the uh, <laughs> former glory there and I went to the Champs-Élysées there was a Paris Saint-Germain boutique and they were selling off this shirt and I, I think it was dirt cheap uh, and that was clear, I had to get this one. Do I like this one? <sighs> I would have liked the one, the first team jersey, but I didn't have it. And actually I said in my Arsenal video that I posted a few days ago um, that the Arsenal shirt was my first Nike shirt. No, this one was my first Nike shirt. I got it in 99. So that predates the Arsenal jersey by two years. And of all my older jerseys, this one that actually really looks a little bit old because it has some wear and tear and I actually, and you see here some pulls. Um, 
I actually never was too fond of wearing it. It's a little bit too shiny. The material was kind of cheap, I have to say. I like the color. I like the overall design. I mean, this for me is the classic PSG design. I also like now that the sponsor here, although it looks weird, uh, this is printed on. This doesn't come off. So that's uh, that, that, that I always liked. But I never liked that you know, have the navy here and then the blue here. It doesn't connect up. So there are a few things that I never... I wore this jersey, but it was never my favorite, favorite, favorite to wear, to be honest with you. But yeah, of course, it doesn't have a name name on the back. I always wondered why I could, couldn't have a button here that I have that looks nicer. But I actually, nowadays, I actually like this one. But yeah, I wore a lot. I also like that the sleeves here, you know, you have the, this going all the way down. But the sleeves have a little red on the inside. So Nike did this already back then. Uh, it became a staple with them. Um, yeah, as I said, I do like this jersey. Uh, it's just not one of my absolute favorites. It was always a little bit too shiny. And also when you wear it, there was no ventilation in it. So uh, <laughs> you always felt like you're suffocating in there. But yeah. My first Nike jersey, uh, I got it for cheap and I really want to have this same design in blue, white and the red here. So that would be the ultimate goal and probably even from that season just to, just for the, for the fun of it. But even if it was in the lighter blue, which I actually like better, uh, I would be very happy to have that one. Of course, I want to have other France jerseys, uh, not France. Uh, jersey of teams from France, I'm thinking Nantes, I'm thinking um, Strasbourg, uh, that I would like Rennes. I I really, I was in the Rennes, Rennes fan store, I saw the stadium I was in Nantes. Um, and back then I only got scarves and I actually regret a little bit that I didn't get jerseys because that would be, would have been nice. Uh, Montpellier is one team that, yeah, I like the blue and the orange look. And yeah, I gotta say, Marseille has pretty darn nice jerseys. And I'm not as much anti Marseille as I was uh, 20 and more years ago. So there you go. Yep, not exactly my favorite anymore, but still it has the Eiffel Tower on there. So yeah, I have a soft spot for Paris. Let me know what you think about this jersey, about Paris Saint-Germain in general. Um, if you liked that video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of that. And I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.